Have you ever landed on a website and you really just loved the design? Like for example, you want to know the exact like font that's being used, the exact colors, the photos, so on and so forth. What I used to do was just right click, then click on inspect. Then I would have to analyze all of this, you know, HTML code to see the exact font that's being used. And also take a look at the CSS as well to see the font weight, the color, so on and so forth. But what if there was a much easier way? There is a Chrome extension called CSS Peeper that could do all of that and more. It's a lifetime deal on AppSumo and it only costs $29 and it's designed to turn all of that HTML CSS mess into something much more digestible for all of us. I think this is a pretty cool tool, so I'm gonna be doing a full review and demo of CSS Peeper. By the way, if you're looking for quality, highly vetted tools that you could use to grow your business, I have my private Notion doc of my must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs. I update this on a frequent basis of new tools that I find and also that I've personally used in my business. You can grab this for free by clicking the link down in the description below. So it is a Chrome extension. So I'm gonna click on the icon and immediately you have tons of information about this website. Right now I'm in inspect mode, so you can hover over any element and see the CSS. So this is a div, this is a span. We can also toggle off the inspect mode. And this image is the open graph image for the website if you were to share it on social media. And immediately you could see the exact typography that's being used on this page. So this is the heading and there are two weights and 23 text styles. And then the body is a different one. It's called inter. And we could also see the entire color palette that's being used as well. I really like how they lay out all of the hex codes and the exact color, how they look like in this row. You can also see all of the hex codes in category format as well. So these are the four background colors, the seven text colors, so on and so forth. And then if you want to save this, you can basically export all of this as well. So right now I'm in the colors tab, but if I go back to the overview, I can also take a look at the contrast scanner. So this basically tells you whether or not there is enough contrast. So it's legible for everyone who is on this website. So everything is good. So we are good in terms of the contrast. And when it comes to contrast, I think this is what something people miss all the time when it comes to website usability. You want to make sure the text is as legible as possible. And the way to do that is not just the font that's being used, but also the color, the font color against the background. And then we could see a high level overview of the CSS information. So we saw the colors and this is a much more detailed view of the typography as well. So for, you know, heading two, there's two instances. So if you click on show details, you could view the name of the font family, the size, the line height, the weight, so on and so forth. And the contrast is excellent. And aside from the colors and the fonts, you can pull from a, any website, you could also pull all of the assets as well. There's 57 assets. You could pull the logo and all of the image assets that are being used on this page. Now, I really love this feature because personally for me, I like using assets from different uh, websites that I review, different tools, like for example, the logo, any screenshots. So if I go here, I could basically pull all of the screenshots, the logo that's being used and use it in you know, my YouTube thumbnail, for example. And to make your analysis more easy as you are going through the page, you can toggle on the show popover while hovering and then toggle on the inspect mode. And now whenever you hover over any elements, you can see the exact font, the text color, background, so on and so forth. Now, if you don't want this to block your view, you can also open the sidebar and this just makes it much more easy to use. Um, you can view the entire website on the left-hand side and view all of the information on this right hand rail right here. So it makes things much more easy to consume as you are analyzing 
any website. Now you might be asking, okay, how does this compare to Hoverify, which I believe was on AppSumo a few years ago, and I recently purchased Hoverify as well. So it is a Chrome extension. So I would say Hoverify is a lot more technical. Now let me show you what I mean. So you can toggle on the inspector here and you could hover over any element. Say for example, you know, this H2. You could view all of the technical information right here, like the spacing, the uh, display, it's a block display, typography, background, so on and so forth. So as you could see, it does give you a little bit more technical web design elements that CSS paper doesn't give you. You could also see the exact code as well and the HTML. You can also edit anything on a website. So I can go in here and then change the period into an exclamation point. And instead of showing you a palette like CSS paper, you can toggle on the eyedropper and you can hover over anything and then you could see the exact uh, hex code that's being used. Hoverify could also pull all of the assets and you could see how the website looks on various mobile devices. Uh, you can debug the site and you can also take a look at all of the SEO uh, metadata that's being used. You can also take a screen, you can also capture uh, this website and save it as an image. And you can take a look at uh, the site stack as well. So the hosting, the tech, DNS, SSL, and also any WordPress elements, um, plugins, if it is a WordPress website. There's also a similar Chrome extension called Barnum PT that was developed by ClickFunnels. And it's similar in some respects as well. So you could take a screenshot. This is the tool belt. So you can click on inspector, for example, hover over any element and you can see the margin, the padding, the typography, the border colors, so on and so forth. You can also extract images. There is a color picker and you could also save screenshots into uh, folders so you can refer to them at a later date. I think if you are a marketer, a web designer, web developer, CSS paper is a must have. It is a no brainer. It's very easy to use and it's only $29 for lifetime access. So go ahead and try it out.